you're about to discover nine award-winning animation techniques and the best part, you don't have to be a pro to pull them off, you can do them right now. These techniques were used by real creators like Steven Townsend, who won first place in business and commercial, Sasapit Rujirat, who won second place in comic and art, and Veronika Posenkiewicz, who got an honorable mention. All of this in the context for Revolution Animation at Work. Let's dive in. Technique number one, creative rigging. I asked ChatGPT a stylized samurai, then broke the image into parts, arms, legs, torso, and head. Each piece was cleaned and exported from Photoshop as individual PNGs. Inside Cartoon Animator, I imported the parts, placed them at different Z depths, so in the 3D view, you can see that all parts are positioned differently, but when looked through the correct angle, the samurai looks perfectly okay. Now I just have to animate it. I used the transform tool for big movements and the FFD, freeform deformation tool, to simulate depth, making the samurai feel like he's stepping toward the camera. In the end, what started as a flat image becomes a dynamic warrior in motion. Look at that. The coolest thing is that you can do this too. Time for technique number two, Instant City. Steven, the winner in the Revolution contest, modeled a full city from scratch. Impressive, but time consuming. Here's my shortcut. I used iClone with a pre-built 3D asset. I just drag and drop and boom, in less than 10 seconds, I saved hours of modeling. Then I saved a few screenshots at different angles and just like that, I got a full CD background ready for technique number three, motion pilot for drone animation. I grabbed a drone image from Freepik, adjusted its perspective in Photoshop and added a warm color tone to match the scene. In Cartoon Animator, I animated the background using a simple transform and flew the drone using motion pilot. I disabled face cursor, boosted the Z axis to be affected when I move the mouse up and down, hit record, and look how simple this is. Just click record and move my mouse and I'm done. I have the animation ready. It instantly feels like a drone flying through a cinematic sky. No complex keyframes needed, none of that. Now let's go to technique number four paths to animate cars. For this, I understand that a lot of people don't have iClone or don't have time to learn Blender. So instead, I went to Sketchfab, searched for a cartoon city and took a screenshot. And then I layered the scene like a sandwich. The road at the bottom, the cars in the middle and city buildings on top. Between layers, I placed a shadow element. So the cars pass under it, adding realism. Then I animated one car with the path tool, duplicated it, staggered the time timing and created a flowing city full of moving traffic. Look at that! Animating in Cartoon Animator 5 is so easy, anyone can do it. Technique 5. Motion Pilot Flock. Here's how to simulate movement in space. I start with a space background and drew a single star. Then in Cartoon Animator, I duplicate the star many times, activate flock mode in Motion Pilot and set the delay to uniform. After that, I just click record and simply move my mouse from right to left. All starts following information, creating a parallax style flight effect. Then I brought a spaceship and animated the same using motion pilot with face cursor mode off. Look at that, the result, a space chase that feels alive. Technique number six, 360 head masking for a phone scroll. This one is clever, kudos for Steven. I got an illustration of hands holding a phone and separated the thumb and screen layers. Inside Cartoon Animator, I used the masking feature normally meant for facial rigs to keep all face elements inside. So what if instead of a mouth, I place a long scrolling screen and instead of the face, I put the screen? Well, we get an animatable smartphone. So I just animated the thumb up and down, moved the content behind it, and boom, a realistic phone screen powered by facial animation tools. Technique number seven, classroom masking. For this, I split a flat classroom illustration into two layers, the chalkboard and the rest of the room. 
That turns the board into a window. Behind the board, I add elements I can animate, like apples appearing for a math lesson. Then I use AI with 11 laughs to create the voice, add a lip sync in Cartoon Animator, and drag in pre-made motion clips for the character. With just a few layers and smart masking, the scene feels like a live cartoon lesson. One apple plus another apple? How many do we get? That's right, two apples. Technique number eight, background consistency with 3D. If you want multiple camera angles in a consistent world, you could spend days learning Blender and building a 3D environment or just use iClone. I picked a pre-built 3D set, positioned the cameras from different angles, exported the images, ran them through AI, and I turned them into cartoon backgrounds. Voila. Now I have matching scenes with consistent style, all done in minutes, not days. Finally, technique number nine, creative use of FFD. I found a gooey slime image and imagine a character interacting with it. After isolating the slime in layers, I drew a long slime trail and a thick layer, then brought everything together into Cartoon Animator. First, I animate this character by my friend Gary Pye and using the freeform deformation, the FFD, I animated the slime making sure it's always following the character's hand. With just two layers and FFD, the illusion is complete. Look at that, it looks like the character is stuck in a stretchy cartoon world. So there you have it. Download the free Cartoon Animator trial in the link below and bring your first animation to life using these techniques. And if you want to go deeper, I hosted a full webinar where I break down each technique step by step. Check that video to start mastering your animation journey.